Connecting science and technology to social well-being. What we've learned in the past 50 years. We used to believe that knowledge is produced automatically, almost like an assembly line that moves in a linear fashion from basic science to development and finally to use in society. These are powerful ideas that help build public support for science and technology. The linear model also made decision making about science easy. The more money that went into the R&D system, the more benefits were guaranteed to society. We now know that the real situation is far more complex. Research on science and innovation over the past several decades has shown us that the process functions less like a conveyor belt and more like a complex system, an ecosystem, for example, where individual parts are connected to many other parts, components, and subcomponents. For example, important questions in basic research are sometimes presented by challenges that engineers and designers face while improving new technologies. So, in general, Knowledge, ideas, and practices flow continuously in numerous directions among many components in the system. However, this complexity has not translated easily into tools and approaches that decision makers and scientists can use to ensure that innovation produces the outcomes that society needs and values. How are we to decide how to allocate resources and structure institutions so we can maximize the benefits of our investment in science and technology? Maybe this will help. <laughs>